This tutorial is designed to help you fix your Xbox 360 using the X-Clamp replacement method. Part 1. Disassembly. For this project you will need a Phillips screwdriver, a Torx 10 driver, a Torx 9 driver, and a small flat screwdriver. Begin by removing your hard drive. Then gently remove your faceplate. Next, there are six clips on either side of the Xbox that must be pressed for the two plastic sides to come loose. Find each one of the clips and gently pull up on the plastic side as you press the clip to separate it from the Xbox. Next, there are four plastic clips holding the front of the Xbox to the bottom of the Xbox. Gently pry each one of these clips until the front of the Xbox becomes separated from the bottom of the Xbox. Next, there are seven plastic clips on the back that must be pressed to separate the back of the Xbox from the bottom of the Xbox. Start with the power connector side of your Xbox and insert your small flat screwdriver into each of the two clips until you hear a click. Gently pull up on the plastic shell to separate the two clips from the back of the Xbox. While still gently prying the two halves apart, Insert your screwdriver into the other five clips starting with the middle working your way to the outside until the two halves become separated. Next, gently remove your eject button. Next, there are six screws that hold the top of the Xbox down to the bottom plate. Gently unscrew each one of these. You will use your Torx 10 driver for these screws. Once all six screws are removed, you can gently remove the top plate and set it aside. On the front of the Xbox is a piece of silver tape holding the DVD ROM drive in. Gently remove the tape with the, your flat screwdriver. Once the tape is removed, Pull your DVD-ROM out of the Xbox and gently unplug the cables from the motherboard. Next, remove the plastic shroud. Next, unplug the fan from the motherboard and gently pop the fan out of the holder and set it aside. Next, you'll want to take off the board on the front of the Xbox. This is the controller sink, also known as the Wi-Fi board. There are three Torx 9 screws in this board. Gently unscrew them, and then gently remove the board and set it aside. Next, there are eight Torx 9 screws on the bottom side of the Xbox motherboard. Gently remove all eight of these screws. Once those screws are removed, there are nine more screws holding down the Xbox motherboard to the case. Unscrew each one of these screws and set them aside for later. Next, very gently remove the Xbox 360 motherboard from the case.